Welcome today to an introduction to NetBacka PureDisk. My name is Stefan Vervaat and I work as a technical product manager for NetBacka. So what I'm going to do today is just walk you briefly through what DDoP and NetBacka PureDisk means to Symantec. There's six bullet points I would like to address here. Let's have a look. So six bullet points I would like to address uh, during this uh, presentation here are first, disk-based. Uh, PureDisk is a disk-based backup solution, which means that all the data that you backup, protect, will be stored on disk in a deduped format, no matter what that disk media will be. You can still archive to tape later on um, and export that to tape media if, you, if that would be necessary. Second one, it's global deduplication. Now, what does that mean? Um, there's a lot of global deduplication terms flying around in the market there. Uh, but for Symantec, that means that we will identify every unique file and unique segment in your whole environment and we'll centralize that and only store one single copy of it in the data center or in the remote side. So global deduplication happens within Symantec um, on a file and on a block or segment level within a file, so very granular. Third option, software or third bullet point, software appliance. Semantic is a little bit unique in that aspect because we actually deliver all the tools and all the software that is necessary to create your own appliance. You can take your preferred hardware, your preferred storage, just combine it into an appliance and you have your DDP appliance ready. And you can scale that up or you can scale that down. 100 terabytes. Now, um, PureDisk is very scalable. Uh, we can manage up to 100 terabytes of deduped storage. I'm talking about deduped storage. I'm not talking about primary storage data or, um, uh, no, I'm talking about deduped storage. That means um, it could actually easily represent a petabyte of data. Um, it all depends, of course, on how well um, your files are dedupl deduplicating. But in general, we see a 10x um, factor and you, know, you can easily see that you know, uh, turning into one petabyte of data. Built-in high availability MDR. What that means is uh, we have built-in high availability, which allows you to automatically fail over any of the services that would be failed or that would fail during the, uh, during the backup or restore times. And we have a disaster recovery process built in, which allows you to replicate uh, your images to a disaster recovery site if that would be necessary. And last but definitely not least, integrated net backup. Uh, integrated into net backup means that we can manage everything from a net backup interface. We can actually um, replicate even, or con we can even manage our replicas through the net backup interface as well. Very important because the DDoP engine is built into the net backup media server. Now let's have a look at the three use cases that I would like to address during this session. So the three use cases today are uh, data center, virtual environment, and remote sites. So if you look at the back of PureDisk and you look at the deduplication engine, it's important to understand where exactly that dedup technology can help you in your, uh, in your environment. So if you take out the first one, remote offices, for example, so what is the requirement in the remote offices? The requirement is to centralize all your data to the data center and, and, and leverage the existing network connectivity that's out there, which is typically very slow. So if you look at the remote sites, um, the WAN connections are very slow. So you need a more intelligent approach. And so what we actually offer you there is a dedup deduplication at the source level. So what you actually do is you take a, a PureDisk client or now back a PureDisk client, you install it on the client in the remote site. Deduplication will happen on that remote site, on the client before the data is actually transferred. So a lot of traffic is, all the traffic is optimized and only unique data will be transferred over the network. A lot of bandwidth savings and you also have replication built in in case you have a larger remote site. The larger remote site actually allows you to, um, or the PureDisk concept actually allows you to create a smaller PureDisk box. You know, again, you take a, a server, you install PureDisk on top of it. You could use internal disks, external disks, it doesn't really matter. You backup locally first and then um, all this data is DDP locally. Then you centrally, uh, so you, you replicate it to a central data center where you have a larger PureDisk environment build, uh, built. And again, this replication is built in and allows you to create an extra copy to the global data center where everything is globally uh, deduped. So this is for the remote sites, very uh, successful there. Now let's have a look at the data center. Uh, if you look at a, your data center environment, you have a lot a lot more applications to support. You have a lot more complex um, environments to support there. So what we've done is we've taken that dedupe engine and we've built it into the net backup media server. Very important because all of a sudden, all the net backup agents that you know, support all these type of applications 
can uh, dedupe that data. Now, the deduplication happens at the media server level, and that means that all the data that is transferred to that media server will be deduped, and only the unique data will be stored on that exact same pure disk platform. So very uh, unique. And exactly um, there as well, you can use the disaster recovery method by replicating data to a disaster recovery site, all managed through the NetBackup interface. The third use case, how can you backup uh, protect virtual environments? Um, there's two ways to do that there. You can run, again, the purest client that offers DDoP at the source level um, in the VMware guest and back it up directly from out inside the VMware guest to the pure disk environment. DDoP happens in the client, in the VMware guest, optimized. Um, and, and again, thanks to that DDoP, you'll have less CPU, less memory utilization, and so on. Or you can actually do off-host deduplication, where you basically um, move a snapshot from the ESX server to um, a, a NetBackup media server, where you can then dedupe it in the exact same way. So that was it. Um, those were the three use cases and the six bullet points I would like to, wanted to talk about. Uh, thanks for um, staying with us today and hope to see you soon.